Hello everyone, welcome to IEEE Expert. Today we are going to see project about how to use AA to generate automatic questions, automatic answer with answer evaluation. This is the project which you are going to discuss. In this project, if you are uploading your textbook means, what it will do means, it will automatically generate the questions from various part of the text as well as what it will do means it will generate a particular answer for the questions which are generated by the artificial intelligence so it will generate the question paper uh, the question paper also contains subjective questions as well as objective type of questions both type of questions it will generate based on that automatic answers after it will generate so what you have to do means you have to write the answer by your own for the questions generated by the a so once you have uh, written the question answer for the questions means you have to submit your answer sheet to our the to our answer evaluation platform what it will do means it will automatically correct the answer sheet which is written by you it will evaluate the mocks it will give the accurate mocks based on your answer whether you are getting 77 marks 88 marks okay this is the part which you are going to dis uh, discuss in this project so based on this project you no need any tutor for this so you just need on uh, textbook if you are submitting textbook it will summarize the text using natural language passing using machine learning it will calculate the uh, most important parts based on the most important parts it will generate the questions for the question it will generate the exact answer sheet also the answer key also so you have to write the answer for the question generated by the a so this is what you are going to do here uh, which i mentioned earlier there are, in this project there are three parts one is question generation part another one is answer generation part third one is answer evaluation part for this part you have to write the answer by your own terms it will generate the uh, it will compare the auto generated answer with your original answer it will evaluate the math based on that it will give the test score this is what we are going to do this is the complete web application here we are going to use uh, python based flask application for that here we are using html also for building the website plan from in this project we are going to use recurrent neural network as a proportional data this is what we are going to do here so this is the very interesting project for this year uh, please keep keep connected with this video we will do give the complete elaboration of this project with complete demo and powerpoint presentation thank you i can show the project base paper so this project having two base papers you can consider any one of the base paper as per your college standard so we having two base papers both the papers comes under IEEE 2024 only so this paper named was student a question concreation for enhancing reading compression this is the one project based paper the another one based paper was a enhanced learning assistant platform this is the both base paper here also they are using artificial intelligence only but they are using only nlp here but in our proposed system we are using rnn when compared to the base papers rnn used to do enhance the overall system performance so this is the both base paper comes under for this project okay uh directly we can go for the project explanation so i can open the project presentation this is the project presentation so i will explain the project presentation for you so this is the title of the project aa enhanced learning assistant platform aa enhanced learning assistant platform this is the project title so in the project abstract which i mentioned that a based question answer generation with the answer evaluation system this is the project which you are going to design for designing of this project what you are going to use we are going to use nlp natural language processing as well as machine learning technique to automate this process this is a project abstract so this is the per, this will increase the personalized learning experience what's the meaning of personalized learning experience means you can train this project particularly for the uh, engineering particularly for the mathematics particularly for the physics you can train for the particular subjects variety of subjects this is the main advantage of this project as well as one more main advantage was in this project we are having evaluation part evaluation part means it will automatically correct your answer sheet and it will give the overall marks overall score this is the more advanced project here the major uh, process for training as well as testing of the subject this is the major process involved here in the introduction which i mentioned that so uh, growth of aa we have to understand textual content uh, comprehensive evaluation personalized learning this is the object domain which you are going to uh, use in this project 
so this comp uh, this approach uh, enhances the overall uh, educational as well as training process it will enhance the students learning efficiency as well as it will having scalable property what's the meaning of scalable property means it will uh, adapt to train even 10 chapter 100 chapter 1000 chapter it will able to adapt all the contents this is the main advantage of this content so for this project literacy survey presented we have presented around six literacy surveys more literacy survey having uh, in our project report this is the literacy survey we are uh, presented overall pros and cons of the project so these are the existing system which comes under this project domain the main existing system was two process involved in the existing system one is rule based approach another one is automatic grading system this is the overall existing approaches in rule based approaches uh, it still comes in the objective types objective type means if you are giving answer a or b means it will give the uh, overall score as per that a or b so you don't know about the content which you are presented in the answer it will contain a or b only only okay you don't having any nlp here only having a b this is the existing system automatic grading system means automatic grading system means if you are uploading your answer sheet means it will give the grade 60 percent 70 percent what it will do means it will compare the similarity of answer sheet as well as original answer similarity uh, for example if you are rewriting the answer by your own terms you are exactly writing the answer but you are putting your own terms not as per the exact textbook you are putting your own words means the automatic grading system failed to recognize that content this is the main existing drawback the main drawback was accuracy was very low as well as it's having biased contents biased content means you are giving your own answer which adapt to the original answer but your term is uh, mismatching your term is you are using different words uh, rather than the textbook so it's having biased result adaptability existing system failed to adapt to the largest chapters it is able to perform for two chapter three chapter only by giving 10 chapter 20 chapter means it failed to recognize that is the main drawbacks uh, we can go for the proposed term. In proposed term, we are going to use AI based question answer generation as well as evaluation system. Use of artificial intelligent technologies, okay, which is more efficient as well as accurate, scalable solution for the automatic educational training process. Okay, the main components of this project was as I mentioned earlier question answer generation part as well as answer evaluation part. This is the part involved in this project. This part, all the process comes under <coughs> AI only. Here, uh, major content was data collection process, pre-processing process, the data training model, as well as question generation, answer evaluation. This is the overall step, steps involved in this project. To training this uh, educational data set, we are going to use recurrent neural network as a proposed methodology. Here, we are going to use recurrent neural network, that is RNN. That is the major al algorithm we are going to use here. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, recurrent neural network having more layers compared to the previous uh, convolutional neural network even the deep neural network the more hidden layers which may advantages into it will able to adapt more data compared to the previous models it can able to adapt 20 chapter 30 chapter even 1000 chapter also it can able to adapt that is the main advantage here okay as well as as well as it will improve overall quality of this project so this is the project architecture first pass comes under data collection we are going to collect various uh, chapters of the answers then pre-processing we have to remove the stop words uh, the links hypertext we have to remove those contents then model training use of uh, recurrent neural network we have to train all the data which collected uh, under the data collection process then we have to generate the questions the a part what it will do means it will generate the important questions based on the data which you have trained then it will generate the answer for that also for example you have to you can generate objective type of question as well as subjective type of questions two marks three marks those kind of answers you can generate okay automatically then evaluation part answer evaluation part you have to rewrite your answer it will compare with the original answer with the machine learning it will give your overall result you are getting 98 percent 99 percent like that it will give the result then it will store the data on the database it will give the feedback this is your overall marks accuracy and all this is the overall architecture of the project the models involved here data set collection part it will collect various subjects data numerical physics uh, then uh, computer science engineering those comes under the data set, data set collection in the pre-processing part as i mentioned delay it will remove the unwanted data links and all it will remove author's name it will remove the unwanted data and all 
then training part involved rn rn used to evaluate all the content all uh, used to store train all the data then question answer generation as well as answer evaluation part it will generate the questions automatically based on the rn and it will generate the answer for the particular question which can be able to validate okay this is the finalized model hardware involved in this project we need uh, we need minimum 4g of ram to run this project then operating system we need windows as well as mac both support for this project okay the website framework we are using flask using python the main advantage of the proposed system was it having more accuracy when compared to the proposed system resource efficiency it using less resource compared to the proposed uh, existing system that means it can be able to run on the even basic system also continuous learning you can improve your learning process using this project as well as you can uh, uh, integrate more subject with the existing system existing uh, training itself that means you can increase this uh, AI intelligence to the next level. Okay, you can add more subject continuously. So that is, that is the main advantage. In the conclusion, as I mentioned, that this AI based question answer generation system as well as evaluation system using recurrent neural network, which offer most modern approach to solve the educational and training problem. It will effectively handle each and every student separately. It will increase their ability to answer. It will increase their ability to, to answer in the certain level using AI. Okay, it will, it can adapt more subject. It can be able to perform very easily in low level system also. Okay, that is the main advantage here. Reference also provided here. So this is the thing. You can go for the project demo here. So to run the project, I'm using app1.py. This is my main code. To run the project, what I have to do means I have to copy the project location. Just to open the Anaconda Navigator. From the Anaconda Navigator, I'm opening the project environment. It's the project environment terminal. Just type cd space project location. That's it. Then enter python space app1.py. This is my main code. Just type enter. It will generate the local host. Okay. It will automatically generate the local host. This is my local host. Just copy the project local host address. Open any browser. In the browser, just paste the project location. That's it. This is my home page. This is my home page. In the home page, what I have to do means I have to log in. In the login, I am using admin admin as a username password admin admin as a username password once login success means just to open the next page in the next page you have to upload the data set so this is my project data set in the data set contain this data set contains around 2000 plus chapters overall 2000 plus chapters it contains in the physics mathematics computer science finance like that just upload the data set here just choose file just go to the project folder then upload data set just upload this one just upload this one just click train and test so it will take around uh, 10 minutes 10 seconds like that to complete so training has been completed now go to the next part in the next part this is the question answer generation part here you have to type any subject data it will generate the questions based on that for that i am using quantum physics data so i am using what is quantum physics i am just copying some content of the quantum physics just go to the going for the my project uh, location just pasting the uh, some information with the quantum size it asking only object type of questions as well as subject type of questions just I am choosing objective type of questions. Then I am entering two questions I made. Just to click generate. So it will generate the questions for that. Okay. So see here. This dash dash have been incorporated into fundamental understanding material of materials, chemistry and biology. The answer was quantum discoveries. Again you can generate different questions also. Just click generate it will generate the different questions see that 
dash tests have been incorporated fundamental understanding material dash material study of matter energy fundamental level the answer is quantum physics then i am just using subjective type of questions just i am giving two questions so this is the answer for that okay this is the answer for that so write short on short note on modern write uh, short note on view of gravity the answer for this was this one you can up, uh, convert into pdf format also just click pdf it will generate the answer sheet for that just see that this is the question and answer sheet now what i'm going to do means i'm going for the answer evaluation part in the answer evaluation part in the answer evaluation part what i'm going to do means i'm just putting reference this is my reference answer in the reference answer i entered what is origin of quantum physics this is the data for that okay this is the data for that then i am writing my answer in that this is my answer for the quantum physics this is my answer i written some content relatively uh, related to the quantum physics just i am uploading my answer here just go to this i am just using my answer just upload this one just upload this one here this is my answer this is the correct answer it will compare both the things it will give the mark i am getting 7.7 okay around 10 okay overall for uh, 10 out of uh, overall for 10 marks i am getting 7.7 .7 marks in overall okay this is my answer what if i are uploading the original answer so i am just uploading the correct answer for this just i am uploading correct answer just upload the correct answer so see the data if you are uploading correct answer means it will give 10 out of 10 okay this is the most accurate project we can check the accuracy also so in this project we are trained computer science data mathematics data statics data biology data various data we are trained overall accuracy of the project was 98 for training data 99 for testing data so this is the overall accurate project to get this project, just visit our iwexpert.com given on the description. We have posted various projects, innovative projects in our website. You can purchase many projects from this website. Okay. Thank you.